Does the shafar of the sheikh what? Does it just save you from punishment? Or does it bring you to the station that you are supposed to? It is not the shafat of the shaykh. No? It is how you are going to receive his shafat. Do you understand? Do you understand or you don't understand? Okay. Let's say you are swimming in an ocean and you are drowning. Someone throws you that donut. We call it donut here. What do you call it? Dunkin Donut. You're going to eat it. You're going to drown, but at least you say, I got one last donut, like Bayram. He's going to say that. He's going to put something there that you can hold on to to save. A life, what? Huh? Life lizard. Life. Preserve, life preserver, nice name. Okay, they throw that. So you get saved. You're holding on to it, right? And you get saved. Then what do you do? Some people let go and they drown. Some people say, I don't want this. I want a boat to come to save me. Some people, they hold on to that and they let someone to pull them. Because the one who's giving you that doesn't just give you that. You ever heard of that? In the middle of the ocean, they just throw you that and they stand and they watch. Huh? Idiots. No, they pull you up, right? Yes or no? You're looking at me like, <laughs> you're about to lay an egg or something. Uh, if you want to lay an egg, at least lay a golden egg. I can use it, bruh. All these years looking at me like you want to go to the toilet. Terrible <laughs> stuff, Allah. So they pull you up. And then what happens? They pull you up. What are you going to do? After they pull you up, where are they going to bring you to? After that, does your life continue? How does your life continue? All of that is up to you, no? All of that is up to you, what you want to do with it. It is their duty for shafaat. But if you refuse the shafaat, the shafaat is not going to work. Now we're talking about when you're drowning. We are here because we're not yet drowning. This is not drowning. This is not drowning. You understand? So we are here and we're understanding the shafaat of our share, we're understanding the shafaat of the Prophet ﷺ. What are we understanding from this shafaat? Like so many idiots, they say, I can do whatever I want to do, and Prophet is going to save me. I can do whatever sin that I want to do, and my sheikh is just going to give shafaat to me. Are we like that? Huh? Which Muslim is like that? Tell me, those people who are saying things like that, which Sahabi is saying this? Which saint is saying this? Which Saleh is saying this? None. Oh, you only make shit up. That's what you do. But this is not part of Tasawuf. We are here, we're not drowning. We're not. Some difficulty going through life, but we're not drowning. But we are trying to understand the shafat of our Shaykh. What is that shafat of our Shaykh? What are we trying to understand from that shafat of our Shaykh? What can we understand from a shafat? What can we understand from a shafat? Let me rephrase it to make it easier. Who is a shafat for? It's for us, right? Right? For everyone. But what is Prophet Laysatullah saying? My shafat is for who? Ah. For who? Those who commit the biggest sins. So if we're sitting here and we're saying we want the shafat from you, Ya Rasulullah, we have to admit, we have to understand that the sins we're committing is the biggest sins. Maybe we see so many people, so many saints, so many salihin, so many good people, they always say, but they don't do anything wrong in their lives. Because now it's not about what they're doing, it is how they look at their sin. You understand? That time nobody can tell them, you're doing halal, haram, whatever. They know by themselves. So, we're not drowning. 
But are we understanding that we are drowned in the biggest sins? If we understand that, then we're going to understand what shafaat of the Prophet ﷺ here is. If we are not understanding that, if we are not understanding that our, our life, our work, we're praying, we're making zikr, we're doing so many things, but we're also doing so many things that Allah is not liking. Prophet ﷺ is not liking. Our shaykh is not liking. And these things, although the world doesn't see it, we can hide it, but these are the biggest sins. If we understand that, then we are deserving of the shafaat. If we are saying, what wrong did I do? You're not going to get shafaat. Then you're going to be judged according to your actions. You're not getting the rahmat of Allah. You're not getting the shafaat of Allah. You're going to get the what? Hukum of Allah, the judgment of Allah. And that judgment of Allah, believe me, 124,000 prophets, they are running away from the judgment of Allah on judgment day. Everyone is running for shafaat. Everyone. All the prophets are running for shafaat. If they're running for shafaat, who are we to say we're not running for shafaat? What wrong did they do? Nothing. Isa alayhi salam, he didn't commit anything wrong. But he said, but my nation is worshipping me. That is shame enough for me and I cannot face my Lord with that. So people in Tasawuf, people in Tariqat, that is why it's a very big sickness and it's a very big wrong to think I enter into Tariqat to become a saint because you're supposed to be the complete opposite. They think they're saints. Oh, because you see a couple of dreams? Allah, Allah. Because you're seeing a couple of lights here and there? That you think you're something? Firaun has more claim to be a saint than you do. You cannot control your toilet. Firaun goes only once in every 40 days. And Firaun was able to make the uh, what? The river, the Nile River to flow backwards. Because whole night long he was begging Allah and Allah gave him that. What can you do? What can we do? Because of a couple of dreams here and there, believe me, let me tell you something. This tariqat, this way, Shaf and his way, the way of Osman and Naqshbandi, we're not going by dreams. Huh? If this way is coming by dreams, please correct me now. So many people, they meet Shafani one time, two times. Shafani talk about dreams. They think that's the only thing Shafani is talking about. And they base the whole thing on that. Shafani talks about visions here and there. They think that's the only thing. Then there's the most important thing. Whereas in the Merkaz, Shafani says, don't come to me with your illusions and delusions. Thousands of times. Don't come to me with your illusions and your delusions. Don't come to me with your dreams. Don't come to me with your visions. Don't come to me with any of this nonsense. You don't even know how to enter a toilet. He says, I'm going to ask you one, two, three questions. You're going to fail with everything. You want teaching Sasai Bul Saif? I'm giving you the teaching Sasai Bul Saif. But you want different teaching Sasai Bul That's not Sasai Bul Saif. That is how you're looking at him. Who are you to look at him and to say this is coming from him? That is not. Some people, of course, <laughs> they never met him. They see his videos, they look at me, they say, mm, mm, I like this one better. No, my, my sheikh is Abdul Karim. I say, You ever met him? He says, No. How you know him? It's through me. When he was passing, did he say, Every one of you, you speak for me. Did he say, every one of you, you are going to continue my way individually, as you like? Did he say that? Did he say the complete opposite? Did, what did Shem Olana say? What did he say? So they never met him. But they like, because, of course, who wouldn't like Istaghfirullah Who wouldn't like a Shaykh who is not physically here in this world? Who wouldn't like that? Who wouldn't like a Sheikh who is not physically in this world that is only a, a video? And once in a while coming to your dreams however you want him to appear. Like 
you know, I want to dream. Come, come, come to my dream. And then he appears, mashallah. Now he becomes like your errand boy. Why you want to see him? Hmm. There are people who are, who are doing that. I say, but you never met him. You don't have that permission. How do you know? I say, I felt pulled to him. Why you don't say that you are getting pulled to Shaykh Maulana? Or Shahi Naqshbandi? Go higher. Why are you stuck low level? Why don't you say, with Allah, ah, another kind of Wahhabi? Another kind of Wahhabi. You got all kinds. After seven years pass, it seems as if we're starting year one again. Yes? Yes. Year one again. Like, uh, how you say? A restart button. But everyone is free. I'm saying this again. If you want to be really free, then don't come with me, don't come near me. If you want to be really free, stay far away from me. Then you're really free. Because if you are with me, if you're holding on to your promise, if you're holding on to your honor and your bayat, then I'm not free, you are not free, nobody is free. We have to hold on to that. I want to be free. You know why I don't want to be free? Because my Prophet was not free. Because my Shaykh is not free. Because our Kalima is Muhammad Rasulullah. Because our Kalima is Muhammad Abduhu Rasulullah. He was not free from his Lord, Asha. Why do we want to be free? So, I answer your question a little bit, or no? You're still looking like you. <laughs> How you say in this country? Do you want to cut some cheese? Huh? You don't know, you? You don't grow up in this country? Huh. How do they say? Something like that. You're not even American. Don't open your mouth. <laughs> you come from some stupid island. I also come from some stupid island. It's okay. I'm talking about me. That's it. That's it. <laughs> May Allah forgive me, inshallah, and bless you. May we get the Shafat. You're not going to get the Shafat if you don't understand the sins that you've committed. And the sincere people, it doesn't matter the size, actually. Big or small, it doesn't matter to them. They know the intention and everything, and everything is big. And they're careful. Those who are not sincere, they don't matter. It doesn't matter. Just as Shah Fendi is saying, you don't know where Allah's pleasure is. No? You don't know where Allah's pleasure is in your good actions. Where His pleasure is, Allah Razul. Allah, may Allah be pleased with you. These Ottomans, they're very highly intelligent. They're not saying, uh, may Allah reward you, brother. May Allah give you the highest station, brother. May Allah grant you Janatul Firdaus, brother. They're not speaking. They say, may Allah be pleased with you. Hmm. As our Shaykh says, you don't know where Allah's pleasure is in the good actions that you're doing. Whether it is a huge, big action that you're doing or it's a small action that you're doing. And this is from saints, this is from Sahabis. They don't know to. Correct or no? That's what makes them to be very delicate and very sensitive. That Hazrat Umar, radiallahu anh, 
He did so much, yet he's so delicate that he would not even allow the wolves to go hungry. He said, if the wolves of where? Of the river Euphrates, he's saying. Beyond that, they say, if they go hungry during the reign of Umar, Umar is going to be dragged by his beard on Judgment Day. They're very delicate with that. They're watching everything. Meaning for him, he's not saying, if they go hungry, why is it my fault? Anyway, didn't I do so much? They never think that way. These are our role models. As our Shaykh says, we don't know how Allah is going to be pleased with you by the big things that you are doing or the small things that you are doing. And our Shaykh is also teaching us, don't be spoiled. You don't know how Allah is going to be upset with you by the big wrong things that you are doing or by the small wrong things that you are doing. We must watch, we must say Astaghfirullah. We must look to see all the wrong things that we are doing in that day and to say, ask Allah for forgiveness and we're asking Allah for forgiveness for all the wrong things that we are doing that we don't see. For the sake of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, for the sake of our Shaykh Al-Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum.